So yet another day on the Glamstead. It has just stopped raining, which means a great day for weeding. I will not be subjecting you to another weeding tutorial. I think you guys got it the first time. Last night, so excited, I ordered a couple of the plants that we need to put in the back. I showed you earlier, I think last fall or last summer, we had landscape plan drawn up by a edible landscape or slash permaculturist. We'll be putting in several of the plants ourselves. The landscape that we installed was completely separate from the guy that designed it. In hindsight, that was a mistake for several reasons. Talk to your boy Gary Collins about contractors. You just can't trust people, it's terrible. You gotta go behind them with every tiny little thing. It's a sad world. Anyway, also on the list of things to do today, I'm waiting for a call back from a couple of landscaping companies I contacted. We're gonna put some raised beds by the shed. My husband and I are gonna be doing that work ourselves probably gonna do one of those cinder block raised beds you see with some facing stone or something to make it look a little nicer we'll see something to glam it up pretty it up but the area over there has to be graded out maybe have a couple of trees removed maybe even a small retaining wall we're going to kind of redirect the driveway in that area a little bit so for that we need help also need a wheelbarrow in the past couple of months, the wheelbarrow that I've had for several years has just kind of walked away. So I do like shopping. I like shopping, but I'm also big into reusing. The wheelbarrow we had, the bed of it was kind of separating and I was just going to get a gigantic washer and replace the bolt and it was all going to be fine. Now I got to get a new one. So if you're not doing anything, you can come with me wheelbarrow shopping. Ready? Come on, let's go. I'm dressed like an idea. As you come up, polycarbonates, six cubic feet steel, poly with these interesting handles. You see, you can get your hands around those and really grip them. These have the traditional stick handles, both of these do. Let's see. flat free tire was kind of important. This one's dual wheels. Plastic. Steel. Oh, fifth cubic feet. Steel. What kind? Uh, not a flat free tire. I think I am going to get the steel wheelbarrow from the plastic tire and I'll tell you why later. Actually, change of plan. I'm going to hike on over to the Lowe's. It's a bit of a drive, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to see what they have there because I'm not sure that the tire style is what I really want. It said flat free tire, but it was still somewhat thematic. I'm going to see if I can find a wheelbarrow that's just got a hard solid plastic tire, which I have read in my research, is better for uneven bumpy terrains, which I have. I've got uneven soil, lots of rocks, and I do want my wheelbarrow to last. So let's see what Lowe's has. Okay, here are the wheelbarrows at the Lowe's. This one's polycarbonate. This one's metal, which is what I want. Flat free tire. Steel handles with comfort grip. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Look at the tire here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice shade blue. This one's also steel. Six cubic feet. Regular tire. And over here, garden cart. That one's plastic. Whatever is all that I want. Whatever is all that I want. Steel. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of looking like, kind of looking like the cobalt. Like the cobalt one. Maybe this one. 
All right, I'm gonna take a look at these two. I'll let you know what I've decided. And an entire decade later, I've got my wheelbarrow. Okay, you wanna hear about it? Here it goes. So there was someone training and suddenly there were three people in line and they couldn't find the tag for the wheelbarrow and blah, blah, blah. But the important thing is that I have it. Got some really great advice on it. I'll tell you about that in a second. I got some other errands to run, so I'll catch you back at the house. As you can see, I have decided on a wheelbarrow. So I knew I wanted, from my research, I knew I wanted a metal tray because plastic trays crack and metal trays, the worst that can happen to them pretty much is that they rust. And if it rusts, you can just repaint it. And I just repainted purple if I wanted to. Also, I decided to get a single wheel because a single wheel is more maneuverable. It requires more strength than a double wheel, but hey, less time in the gym, right? Also, since I have uneven terrain, I got a no flat tire. So there was this one and there was a cobalt one, which was a beautiful shade of cobalt blue, as you might imagine. So I was standing outside the loaf trying to figure out what to do. And this old guy came up and said, get that one. And he pointed at this and this Jackson wheelbarrow right here. He said, I'm a contractor. I'm a cement guy. I've been doing this for a long time. You want one that lasts, you got to get that one. He kind of reminded me of one of my, uh, one of my uncles, you know, my uncles and some of my uncles and both my grandpas were uh, blue collar guys, work with their hands. So in that moment, it was like speaking to one of my relatives and I went with his recommendation. He said the cobalt one comes off the frame and since he does this for a living, I trusted his judgment. So this is my brand new wheelbarrow, a nice lovely shade of blue. So up there, I don't know if you can quite see that with the lighting, there's a beam. And there's space between that beam and this, uh, this overhang here. And once again, I have a bird's nest up there. So before the little birdies lay the little birdie eggs, I've got to get my ladder, get up there with a broom, and knock it down. The birds must nest elsewhere. It occurs to me that I actually meant to get some of those spikes to glue down so the birds wouldn't make a nest, but I forgot because I didn't write it down. Make a list, people. Well, one other thing I got while I was out. A steak. No, I shall not be killing vampires. This um, current, this Jostaberry, is kind of floppy. It came with actually a really small steak, but it outgrew it and I neglected to stake it earlier. So it's going to take some effort, but I'm going to pull it forward. As you can see, it's kind of in front of the door. And I need this not to grow blocking the doorway. These get pretty tall. So I'll be doing that today as well. Alrighty, this one is staked. You still got that one branch kind of going up that way, but that can be moved up and tied to a different stake in another year or so. The important thing is that this kind of main trunk here is now staked and out of the way. Alrighty, I think I'm just about done for today.